What's that line? Apple and five cents. Oh my god. It's a trap, ladies and gentlemen. We found the beat in the audience. Thank God there's only one. Well, two. Okay. So, why is it a trap to talk about that we want to return to the Constitution? We want to return to the family of America. Well, if you go beyond the language of the time and you go to what was actually occurring,
All right, so, but it's a significant amount of time. Let's just take, yeah, say maybe 100 years. And it's not, you know, right through it into 100 years, so we're still working on racism and so on. So imagine somebody from 1911 trying to predict what the world of 2011 was going to look like. You, you couldn't do it. I mean, you couldn't even be close. Do you know what they would say in 1911? They'd say, how the hell would a free society deal with smallpox? Or polio? Right? But the reality is, we don't need to deal with that. Because we have the inoculations against smallpox, we have the inoculations against polio, so we don't need to deal with that. What is the question that everybody asks about when we have a stable society or a truly free society? How do we deal with uh, how do we deal with murderers? How do we deal with sociopaths? How do we deal with killers? Number one answer. Don't give them an army! Don't give them nuclear weapons, don't give them all that. But the reality is, the reality is that we already know how to inoculate people against violence. Just the same way that we already know how to inoculate people against smallpox. The rat of all is like the end. And polio. The way that we inoculate people against violence is very clear. We raise children without violence. We raise children without aggression. And then we have a world where the only people who are violent are people who have brain injuries, brain tumors, political addiction. So we only know. So we say, well, in a hundred years you're going to have a truly free society. People say, well, how do you deal with violence and, and, and criminality and all of these things in a free society? But we're not going to have a free society until we start raising children. Peacefully, non-violently, without aggression, without standing. Do you know 90% of parents in this world still stand for their children? Because, and this is true even in the libertarian community, as far as I know, it's not, I'm not sure, but it's one of those statistics. And I've yet to have a libertarian or an anarchist successfully explain to me why the non-aggression principle does not apply to children. Should it not apply to children, first and foremost? Because until it does, we're not going to have that free society. So when you're trying to sell a free society, what you're trying to, I know mean, the word sell is not for us, but we do need to get these ideas across. Try to avoid reference to the past, because it's a trap. Because too many people know about the dark underbelly of the American Revolution, the American experiment. So we need to be credible as a guy or a part of the But instead, just stick to princes, non-aggression. You live that in your own life, live that in your own family, live that with your own children, live that with your own friends. If we can create what the future is going to look like within our own community and raise these children who are peaceful and wise and respectful and intelligent, I'd say in India that that would have a great connotation for it. And we can show people what the future is going to look like within our own community. And then we won't need to say you have to go 300 years back to get what it is you're talking about, because all they're going to have to do is look at this community and see the amazing things that we're doing by applying an automatic principle where we live, where we have power over, where we have influence, where we have the capacity to bring our ideals into being. And we won't need to play this game called what is the future going to look like a hundred years from now, or how are we going to deal with an illness called violence that we've already cured within our own community. And from that standpoint, we can, I think, build something very powerful and very visible and very obvious. So we won't need to talk about a theoretical perfect republic that never existed 300 years ago, but we won't need to predict what the future is going to look like a hundred years from now. But instead, we can show how beautiful, philosophical principles, non-violence, property rights, how beautiful they look in the world that we live in. And we can show how that looks in the fragment of the future that comes down to the stairway of time and lights up the present with a path forward. That, I think, is the way to go. The mic is still close to me. Yeah, that is the way to go. So for those of you who didn't hear that last step, it was great. It was. Well, there are no words. Thank you.